hey guys welcome to another video on my channel today i'm going to be showing you how i transformed this image from a simple canvas backdrop to this dramatic canvas backdrop please stick around while i teach you on photoshop and don't forget to subscribe and like this video so that youtube can recommend it to more viewers so guys i'm going to be showing you simple steps to adding dramatic effects to your backdrop as you can see this is a canvas backdrop and it doesn't really have any exciting elements to it so we are going to add a little bit of effect to this backdrop so that the image can look more dramatic this picture right now is already edited it's already color graded it's already retouched and so i add backgrounds or dramatic effects to my background at the end of every procedure and in future videos I'm going to show you how I retouch and color grade my images so the first thing you're going to want to do is to bring in the photo you would want to add into this to make it dramatic so I'm just going to drag that into Photoshop it's in downloads I have a folder where I have all my backgrounds and then um, this is a picture of clouds you just drag and drop into photoshop so this is it this is clouds so now you're gonna want to stretch that to just fit into your into your image and then you're going to tick on select to position that so now we have the clouds over your images and the next thing you're going to do is to reduce the opacity so that you can see your picture till your photo is visible enough and after that you are going to click on this tool right here which is the magic wand tool to select your subject after selecting your magic wand tool and it would highlight on your subject just like this and after it must have highlighted on your subject you inverse so you right click on your mouse or on your wacom pen and then you select inverse so now your subject is selected and this the background is not selected right so what you're going to do next is you're going to select your masking so you're going to max like this and now your subject is back in full view like there's no obstruction of the clouds on your subject it has been separated from the background and now you're going to increase your opacity to see what you are doing so this is it i'm increasing my opacity so as you can see the clouds are now popping and your subject is separated from the background so if there's any way in which your subject the background is highlighted into your subject or your dress or anything of your subject you can just pick your eraser tool right here and then you clean over that but you have to make sure that your eraser tool is really reduced the flow is really reduced and then you clean clean you can increase that so you can see what you're doing and just do like a very neat cleaning sometimes it doesn't really have to be perfect because the details may not really show when we are done with the result and as you can see the wood box that she's standing on has also been highlighted so you can just clean like I said it doesn't really have to be perfect because at the end of the day this doesn't really have much effect when your final editing is done so yeah I'm just cleaning this make sure to be careful as you're cleaning 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 like that and then now what we're going to do is to change the blending mode because this is obviously not looking so great so you change your blending mode so like blends with your backdrop so you just go through your blending mode and look for the one that fits what you're trying to do but i think overlay looks great so my blending mode has been changed to overlay and my opacity increased to uh i think i like 66 so yeah 
this is what your final image should look like so you see how that looks photoshop has highlighted the your subject away from your background and this is what this is what it looks like and if you want to create a more realistic edge like the edges of your subject so it doesn't look fake you go to your property settings and then you feather it a bit so when you feather it a bit the edges of your subject kind of like blends into the blends out properly with your background so that it doesn't look too carved out so this is what it looks like before and then yeah now it looks more blended out properly so this is it so i normally do this at the last stage of my editing and very simple step quick step and amazing step i'm going to leave in the description box below where i normally get my free backgrounds is pixiesets.com and then sometimes i also get images from pinterest wherever you feel you want to get your images you can always go for it please subscribe to my channel and then click on the like video if you like these steps if this has been helpful to you i'll see you on my next video bye